actually, but very quickly during my uh, PhD, I moved to uh, biomodeling and especially interaction, protein protein interaction, and then it drifted a bit away because I was in a computer science lab. And we decided, oh, well, we can do some docking, it's nice, but we can do better, so let's just reinvent the wheel. So we decided to just uh, try to find new way of representing the, the, the surface, uh, the molecular surface. And uh, what we have done, we worked on uh, GPU calculation to do some recasting, to in fact have uh, always a very smooth uh, surface. And uh, to do that, we used uh, uh, a definition of surface done by uh, developed by Edel Brunner uh, in the uh, end of the 90s, and it was called molecular spin surface. And with this, it was quite nice because you can very easily pass through different type of surface, like convex cell to like more molecular surface, and even like something at the end it was more vulnerable. So I had this uh, computer science background, and then I applied it uh, during a the first uh, postdoc in a uh, very, very large system uh, in physics from uh, so material physics. So it was uh, at the CEA, which is the equivalent of the DOE uh, in the US, if you want a reference. And then it was fun, but uh, I tried to go back to my first law, which was uh, modeling, uh, protein, and so on. And then I moved to uh, Oxford in the lab of uh, Matt Samson to work on the multi-scale uh, modeling of uh, membrane systems. So uh, basically, uh, we used to work on, on different resolutions, so from atomistic here, and then uh, especially uh, Matt's lab in Oxford is really known for uh, using those grain systems, so for people that don't know what it is, uh, you have one particle in the cold grain here, and it's equivalent to four heavy atoms, so you have less particles, so you can do bigger systems for longer, so typically it was uh, here uh, almost a virus uh, developed in the lab by Tyler, and uh, me, I used to work on very large uh, membrane systems, with here you have in green proteins, and in gray you have, you have the membrane, and it's just uh, from the top. And, uh, even recently, we, we, we moved also from cold grain to what we call the meso system. Basically, it's taking uh, all the information from uh, the cold grain and putting it in a very simple system where uh, you have one particle for uh, uh, one protein. So it was uh, quite nice. But basically, what I want to discuss here is not really this one, but this one. And for my work, when you try now to share this type of data, you may have two solutions or uh, two cases at least. One is this one, which is quite simple. You have a protein here, it's a, a kinase on, on interacting with, with uh, the membrane, and uh, here we have also protein and the membrane. And if you just uh, remove the water, you have a file from you know, 10, maybe 15 megabytes. So it's quite easy to share. You can use different way. You can put it in the SI. You can just use you know, the Okay. For example, we will discuss this <laughs> later. But if you go to big, big systems like this one, so we try to, to model it in, in cold grain. So you have more than two thousand proteins, twenty million, uh, twenty million particles. So a very small trajectory time. So 2.5 microseconds, it's even 1.5 terabytes, and just even one snapshot is around one gigabyte. For, for this case, I'm here a bit more stuck, even if I explain some maybe some solution. But typically this is what I would like to share, and this is something that needs some uh, solution. So I have this question, and I'm a bit of a geeky guy, so I try to ask this on Twitter. Basically, hey guys. Where, where you uh, to deposit coordinates for model, and then it was a very nice question, and I was wondering maybe people will answer not. And finally, it turns out a lot of people were interested by this question. So maybe uh, and then uh, Andrew Marsh, then John just give me more interesting uh, feedback, a feature that uh, that I read uh, and so on. So Michael just pointed out the, the PDB there. 
and David just begin to, to, to speak about also feature, GitHub and so on. A uh, colleague in France has said maybe you have Zenodo, you have also some infrastructure at the CN, CERN, and then uh, Lucy Forest just mentioned a classical uh, SI, uh, also uh, Chris and Lindorf Larson, Lucy also pointed out the OSF, and then so I was very happy. And, you know, plenty of people were buzzing around these questions, and so normally you stay that, you just listen. But I had this strange feeling, and I said, maybe, maybe we can go further. And I said, yeah, yeah, like maybe it can be something that we can write, we can do something around that. Maybe they've already done. And then now I, I had a little bit less answers. So I <laughs> <laughs> People uh, were just, yeah, they, they already understood uh, <laughs> what was going on beyond that. But I have this, this answer from, from David, and he's really like the spiritual father, finally, of, of this workshop. He said, okay, why not a, a GitHub repo and try some of uh, this uh, new journal, Living Journal of Professional Nuclear Science, and so on. And so we, we discuss this uh, later. Uh, during the workshop, and also I saw, I saw, I was very happy. So yeah, it's a good idea. But here you can see, I begin to try to dodge the bullet, saying, <laughs> oh, yeah. and here there, there was a the really wise uh, words of, of David, and I think it, it, it's quite nice. Is yeah. So some people had to do, it. <laughs> and I said, well, <laughs> okay, let let's try it. And at the beginning, it was really like just an idea, just a, well, why not? And there is a gap between this saying, say, yeah, let's try something, and really doing it. And here, I was really lucky because a few uh, weeks later, I, I was in a conference, and I had time to discuss with Eric and Rosen, and, and they were quite interested by this idea, and they said, yeah, why not try to do something? And here, it became a bit more real. But it's, it's not enough. If we want to do that, we have to organize it. And uh, yeah, I, I have also uh, some people here that really helped me to, to do that, especially Lucy and Reba that really organized everything to, to, to get here. And Michel that will explain a, a bit what uh, will be at the workshop, and, and Daniel. So really, this is a combination of funding of people wanting to do that, that really help to uh, try to organize this. So that, that's great. Now we have this workshop. You are here, but question, what, what are we doing here? And maybe now it's uh, time to, uh, you are stuck here anyway, so to explain what, <laughs> what we have to do. So that's why I chose a very remote place. You cannot escape anymore. <laughs> anyway, so first, we, we have to discuss. I think this is really the point. Uh, of course, we will organize very you know, for, for more session to help you to discuss, but also before and after the, the discussion. I think it's really the, the, the key point, just discuss. Also, I think it's not just discussion. There is a goal, so basically it's to find best practices. Maybe during the, the, the Twitter, um, uh, discussion, so I show you, we, we highlight some, but I'm pretty sure there is some others, so this will be something that we have uh, to do. Also, highlight issues, I think it's really important because, of course, there is some solution, but there is a lot of um, things to, to do and uh, to improve or to develop, and so maybe point some new ideas that may be uh, developed in the next future. And at the end, if we can, we have to write something to try to disseminate. I don't want a, a, a workshop just to discuss and say, yeah, let's do that. Just, it's important to really try to do something and to do that. It's really nice to, to write something together, to at least give something for the next step. And what is really nice is that we have here in this room a lot of people from different places, from Spain, France, Croatia, Germany, UK, uh, Sweden, of course, a lot of them. 
<laughs> Even, yeah, uh, Finland, so family is not here. And also Daniel and John, that are really thanks because they just cross the ocean to, to, to come. And so it's really nice because we have here a different point of view. More than that, what is very important is that you are representing different organism, organization, uh, also different projects, and that's very nice because I'm pretty sure that we have something to, to discuss. So this is really what I hope that all this, maybe there is some projects that maybe have some overlapping or some common ground. <coughs> Hopefully we'll see uh, a bit more what is on, going on during the discussion and even I'm sure that there's a lot of expertise in this room that will be very useful to at least try to develop some guidelines. And so very quickly how this workshop will work, will work in practice. So again, as I said, the discussion. So I mean also that means that maybe less computing or except for taking notes or tweeting, because again, I think it's very important to disseminate, and it started in Twitter, so I want that to continue on Twitter. And again, if you want to tweet, do not hesitate to uh, use this hashtag.